Welcome back to Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. I hear shooting behind this door, so naturally, let's jump inside. Oh, it's her, Sigrun. Sigrun, that's her name, Sigrun. To liberate the United States of America. To free the U.S. and use it as a platform to liberate the rest of the world. And this is what we are going to do for Caroline. And what about this one? Can we trust her? Hello. <laughs> give her a chance, I guess. I, she saved my life. She saved Captain Blaskowitz, too. Now, Caroline had established radio contact with an American resistance group in New York City. Now, we need to Do you find allow this blacks on board? To our cause. We need to make <gasps> oh my god. How did that man get in here? No, everyone is allowed on this boat. Fight. Except Nazis. At Bonafide water again. There you go, Mr. That's right. Bonifies. And our first priority is to set course for New York. And... Death charges! <laughs> Surface breaches! Multiple surface breaches! It's for our angle! How in the world is she tracking us? Someone inside your U-boat is transmitting your position. What did you say? The Ausmerzer has been receiving messages from someone in your boat. That's how we found you. That's impossible. Section F. No way. Uh, there it is, Section F. But there is no section F. The maps are not accurate. We've looked and there's no door there. Now what if there is? What if someone is hiding in there transmitting that signal, huh? Cap, you assemble a team and investigate. I'll show you the way. Must be here. Move this locker. Weld the shot from the other side. Higgle it! Take this! Wyatt came up with a basic concept. The design is not ay ay ay, it's experimental, but it will be very useful. Does this end kill Nazis? Oh, enthusiastically so. <laughs> I'm sure it will. I will open this. When you are done, big man! Let's find this stowaway. The diesel craft works blitz and diesel canister ammunition sticks to walls and enemies on impact. These canisters can be remotely detonated. Dual wielding it automatically detonates canisters on impact. Diesel. 
the ammunition sticks to walls and enemies on impact. Okay, this, William, this thing does a lot. Find the transmitter and shut it down, or the depth charges will rupture our hull. Uh, left click to fire it, right click to detonate, hold right click while firing to make it canisters detonate on impact. Okay. Oh, you can take him back. What? What are those? The fact that it's called Blitz and Diesel, like, I thought this was a flamethrower, but obviously it isn't. It's a sticky grenade thrower. Holding down right click. That makes them explode on impact. <laughs> I love how Blitzquits kind of just, like, smacks the... I, I'm guessing there's a button there on the side of the weapon. And does it charge? No. We've made a mistake. On the floor plan, Section F just looks like a little laundry room. We looked for it when we first searched the U-boat after you captured it, but we didn't see the entrance door. And with all the things we were worrying about back then, I suppose we didn't bother looking too closely. But now I've re-examined the floor plan and there's a reference to a completely different document. The engineering map of Section F. I'll report back as soon as I find it. What if they hit us? Frank? Little brother. Terrorists. Well, that's one of the stowaways. Sold out Mueller's journal. March 12th, I think, 1961. Been trapped down here for several months now. I keep thinking about Johann, a true German warrior. He was a hero, gunned down like a martyr by that big murderous ape, Blaskowitz. People like him. Communists, anarchists, degenerates. They need to be exterminated from this planet, just like the Fuhrer said. We are superior, strongest, and bravest. We are not afraid of them. Earth belongs to us. I wonder how long I will have to pee in this bucket. Not going to the toilet by the entrance to Section F, in case he comes back shooting people. I'll just keep peeing in here for now until help arrives. Alright, so I don't have to use the explodey gun. Which is probably a good thing. I don't think I want to use that here. Seems like it'd be better against heavies, probably. Don't you remember the insane American with a laser rifle killing everyone on board? Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh. That made me jump. William, I found the engineering map. Palace 
tank, nuclear warheads stockpile. Oh my god. Section F stretches along the entire hull of the U-boat, and we're on the biggest U-boat in the world, so this section is gigantic. Some of it must serve as a main ballast tank or something, because it's a massive volume. Be careful, William. No telling how many Nazis could be hiding in there. How long have we had this U-boat for? I mean, all these people living in here. Do they have enough food? Like, this is a lot of people. Stole that belt's diary. I feel like a coward. They stole our boat. Eva's hammer. The jewel of the beloved Fuhrer. I wish someone had the guts to make a push for it. We can take back our boat from those degenerate brutes. I'm not afraid of Blazkowicz. Okay. Maybe I haven't fought anyone like him. Or anyone at all, for that matter, since this is my first assignment. Uh, regardless, this cowardly... Uh, this cowardly hiding like rats act we are doing is disgraceful. I shall speak to Commandant Fisher soon, if he ever gets out of that damn radio room. I just realized my guns are completely covered in blood, especially the one on the right. I think that's new. I, I don't think blood appeared on your weapons at all in the other games. I think this is the first time I've been underwater in this game. Really cool distortion effects and everything. Oh, I'm drowning. Oh, that water looks gorgeous. William, those Nazis have been surviving in there ever since you captured the U-boat five months ago. They must be starving and desperate. Yeah. Stay safe, darling. I can't take them out silently. If I I know from what I just tried back there a little bit that if I hit one with an axe they're gonna scream a little bit and the other one next to him is gonna hear. Could I throw an axe at one and do a takedown to the other one now? Maybe? Uh, let's do safe. Or that, that works. Shit, I heard that. Think we're okay though. down search the area I think that's new as well before before they would react and go on alert if they saw somebody die but I'm pretty sure if they just walked across a body after they had been killed after the fact I don't think they would care I want to throw an axe but it might get stuck up, up here it's kind of big Okay, well it worked for a while. 
Oh shit, hey. Difficulty setting. Da hast du deine Antwort. Nice. Well, if I can just get the other one real quick, then. Oh, they're right down there. Okay, good. Okay. Couple left, right? Is that everybody? a look at the stockpile of nuclear warheads in Section F. According to the engineering map, there's dozens of warheads in there. Let's hope the Nazis haven't tampered with them. A few more weeks, maybe. With your grace. I don't know what Anya was saying. Franca's postcard. My dearest Hans, you should see this. The American colonies is a paradise. I'm staying at a hotel in Honolulu. It's beautiful and the locals are friendly to me. The glory of the Reich has truly blessed this place. Still, when I take the girls out to the harbor to buy ice cream and I see all the U-boats and ships coming back to port, I think of you, my love, remembering how proud you were when you got stationed on Eva's hammer. I hope you're safe out there, and then I can be in your arms again soon. The girls wonder if you've seen a mermaid yet. I miss you. All my love, Franca. Can they see me under here? If they could just turn around, that oh, oh, oh. hey there. Where's that? There. Okay. Should I just go for it? 
I'm not sure how to get into this place without being heard. If I try to jump up anywhere, they hear me. Oh, Jesus, okay. Alright then. the toilet. Jesus, that's not safe. Thank you, William. The Avsmelzer is losing track of us now. Find your way back to the locker room. Bombate will let you out of there. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I think that was a commander, yeah. Got an Enigma code card thing. Whoops. Unknown Commandant's Journal, Day 13. Hold up in here for almost two weeks now, like rats on our own U-boat. We'll sketch out a plan with Commandant Fisher. That degenerate terrorist surprised us, but we are soldiers of the Reich. Bred in battle and forged in combat, we will get out of here and eradicate these subhumans for good. <laughs> How did that work out, asshole? Day 39. Looks like uh, we will be here a while. There are too many for us to handle right now. We're low on ammo. Too much risk involved. Fisher will try to get the communication system working. Day 54. Oh wow, they've been here for a long time. The men are getting desperate. The air is getting stale, pungent. My uniform itches. I try to sleep, but I wake up every minute, sometimes by the men screaming from their awful nightmares. Many of them have seen things no man should see. Day 85. Rations are running low. Some of the men have started hallucinating. Fritz was trying to write to his mom this morning. The problem is that she's been dead for ten years. Must keep a lookout for the rest to make sure none of them loses it completely. They would be of no use to us if we have to fight the terrorist. Johan will go find some spare parts for the communication system. Day 98. I'm losing my mind. Cleaned my uniform five times already and it still itches. We'll need to take it off. When we're rescued, I will put it back on so I can look respectable during the award ceremony. Day... I lost count. Fisher managed to get the communication system working. He sent messages to the Oberkommando. This is it. They will rescue us. Never lose faith in the Reich. Day... question mark. What is Commandant Fisher thinking? He wilted himself in the control room with the communication system. Paranoid. Accusing us of trying to interfere with the transmission. He's completely lost it. The men are saying they heard some commotion by the Section F entrance. Probably nothing.
How do I get out of this place? I think there was a... Hmm, no. I, I think there was maybe a hole in the radio room, but that wouldn't make sense because... You're obviously not supposed to go there, because a bunch of enemies come from over here. If you just went into the hole, then you'd never have to fight them. I guess this is the right way. We're going somewhere. and now everyone is expecting me to pick up the torch. All right? Hey, I mean, look at me, man. I can't even find a pair of headphones. All right, I failed the leadership course at Harvard, for Pete's sake. I know I put them here somewhere. Where the heck are they? Oh! Hey, will this ringing not stop, for Christ's sake? You can't give up, Why? We don't do that. I'm not stupid, Captain. I saw the look in your eye up there when Frau Angle had you under her thumb. All right, the fire is gone out and you're just on autopilot now until you hit the wall. Am I wrong, Captain? Oh, thank God. I, uh, I salvaged some stuff at Jay's, you know, from the old Berlin hideout. Some old recordings and things just don't. Just for keepsake. That boy could play the hell out the guitar, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he liked it loud. I'll see you around, boy. Later, Captain. Hey, Captain. Would you go see Seth? He wants to... Give you a physical or something, you know, just, just see how you're doing. I think he's in his workshop. Set. He knows as well as I do. What I got, he can't cure. All right, well, it looks like we have a sort of uh, similar to the resistance base back in Berlin. Which means a lot of people to see, a lot of things to look at. I especially want to look at everybody's room, see what they've got in it. So before that, I think I should end the episode. Really groovy, this music, Cap. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that your choice of Wyatt, of saving Wyatt over... Um, over Fergus and the character Jay that appears because of that. I like that they carry through into this, not just Wyatt being the one alive, but even Jay's carried into this a little bit too. 
Okay, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.